You know what's interesting now, and I never thought I was going to have this problem, is that all these leads are coming in, and I feel like I could get probably like three a week now. For, it's just really good, at, like you said. But, you know, I often suggest the closing costs that will pay. Well, I'm, you know, I might have like twenty or 30000 sitting, but you think about that, you know, three or five deals a month, and we're paying the closing costs, that 20000 eaten up in one month. You know, so before I can get that lease purchase tenant buyer in there, that takes a couple more months before we get that person in place. I can't really buy any more right now in a sense because, how, how, you know yeah, what see, I mean? That, I'm, that's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Hung up in a good you way. Do, that's what I was saying. You want to do double closings. So you're not so, laying out any cash until you know you're getting another mm -hmm. bigger check from your buyer on the same day. Yeah. One so of the I mean, things to maybe look at, uh, what do you think about wholesaling these or selling off the lease options yeah. to tenant buyer? Blood? Yeah, and build up a cash. I have one that's worth like $40,000. And so, uh -huh. so for everybody else, and you understand what we're talking about here, Sophia, but this is a potential play. And like I said, Blair and I haven't really talked about it, but uh, you'd put something under contract, let's say, for example, uh, and do it as a lease option uh, instead of a subject to. And then you turn around and sell off that lease option to a tenant buyer and you, you introduce seller and buyer. So seller meet buyer, buyer meet seller, shake hands. You guys are in, in partnership together and thank you for giving us our 12,000, goodbye. Mm -hmm. Then you, you don't have any rental, monthly rental exposure, you don't have any mortgage payment exposure. It's a little mm -hmm. less risk, you're leaving money on the table, but it's an all cash business. Yeah. I think that's the answer. I have to incorporate a little bit more of uh, just um, quick, like a quick turnaround on a couple of deals to build up a big cash over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and life will be a lot better if you're not worried about this problem because we don't have good answers. We don't know what's gonna, like Blair said, we don't have crystal ball. We don't know what is gonna happen. I, I, keep this in mind, whatever economic mess everybody creates out there always gets undone. It always gets fixed. It may take a while, you know, this is one of these deals where they could do all the damage in 60 days and it could take six years to fix. Mm -hmm. But there's money to be made as the damage occurs and there's a lot of money to be made as the correction comes into place. So, uh, you know, cash, my, my, my dad and my grandfather always taught me cash is king. That was rule number one in business. Cash is king. And rule number two is look at rule number one. <laughs> cash right. is king. So you stay... You stay on that basis. You don't expose yourself. You do double closes like Blair says, where you've got to make sure you have the buyer in place before you have the seller in whatever form or fashion, and you should be golden. I like that.